Welcome to 2K Sports Annual Noche NBA presentation. We're excited to bring you this celebratory fusion of basketball and Latin culture. Welcome, everyone, courtside with two ex-NBA stars, Grant Hill and Brent Berry. I'm Brian Anderson. We've got Allie LaForce on the sidelines tonight as well. Allie, take it away. Thanks, guys. Well, DeAndre Ayton's a defensive anchor in the middle. He talked about his ambition at the end of the floor, saying, I just want to be able to guard one through five. That's my goal. I'm going to show my opponent why he is not supposed to be on the same floor as me. Brian, plenty of confidence. <laughs> and the talent to deliver, Allie, for sure. Thank you. And the starting lineup for the Magic. Harris at the two with Wagner playing the three. Isaac in at the four with Carter Jr. playing the five. And it's Anthony in at the point. And for the Suns, the deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Bridges and Crowder holding down the forward spots. And it's Aiden in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Hey, it's an exciting time of year with the playoffs on the horizon. Grant, should teams start changing up their rotations with the postseason in mind? You know, B.A., I'm not a big fan of that. Of course, seeding is so important in the postseason, but I don't think it's time to start experimenting. It's still about winning games and getting into the best position possible. Wagner outside. Pass to Harris. Paul against Anthony. And stolen by Paul. To the middle. Isaac with the steal. Harris outside. Now here's Isaac. Wagner outside. Outside Carter. Puts up a three. He drops it from range. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. And the Suns with possession. It's a three-point game. Bridges passes to Aiden. For three, Booker buries it from three. Booker looking to get quick revenge after that score. Harris outside. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Wagner up top. He's guarded by Bridges. Got it. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give them credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Here's Booker after the basket by Orlando. Back to Paul. There's the three. It's hauled in by Isaac. Hey, sometimes you miss even under the best of circumstances. Pass to Anthony. Wagner outside. Shot clock at five. Here's Isaac. Phoenix grabs the miss. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. That was not an easy move. I mean, especially against that length. Yeah, I don't think he even sees a taller defender out there, just a gifted scorer. And it's the Magic with the ball. Coming off a of Suns make. Back to Harris. And that's good. Gary His first Harris. bucket of the game. Well, that bucket from Harris was all about perseverance. He takes his time and uses what he has of those muscles and puts it on the defense. Well, I know you spent a lot of your career in Orlando. What are your favorite memories of that time? None, B.A. You know I was hurt the entire time when I was in Orlando. No, but in all seriousness, they were great people, great city, and it was fun to see young guys like Jameer Nelson and Dwight Howard get drafted and emerge as great players and leaders for their ball club. Wagner for three. And again, it's Orlando with a three. They've really come out swinging, hitting four of their first five shots. Outside Booker. Back to Paul. Bridges outside. Pass to Crowder. Now Booker. And here's Aiden, giving them some good production, putting up just around 16 and a half points a game. Aiden showing it could be a problem on other spots on the floor, not just the post. Now here's Anthony. They lead by one. Harris outside. Outside Carter. Down low. Here's Isaac. That shot missing. 
Good work defensively by Crowder. Booker against Harris. Outside Paul. Pass to Crowder. And here's Aiden. Oh, stolen by Harris. Here's Anthony. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First person to foul. First team foul. And he might not be the biggest guy on the court, but Cole Anthony is explosive, Greg. He is. I mean, he surprises you with how much lift he gets. Fearless when he's going at the rim. He's caught a number of defenders off guard with that burst. And he can't get the first one. And the Phoenix Suns have been a completely different team since acquiring Chris Paul. He's the leader of this team, and he helps set the tone on both ends. And the second free throw is good. Boy, the city of Phoenix really embracing Chris Paul as soon as he arrived. Yeah, I mean, he's in the latter stages of his career now. But you would never know it based on how hard he plays every single night. He just makes everyone on this team so much better. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. And the Magic call time here. A tough loss coming against San Antonio in their last game. Yeah, we know that on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. Well, it can affect your confidence, not just as the player shooting, but the entire team. So defenses might get a little bit more aggressive. And then you got to think about the next free throw. Check out the story for Markel Fultz. On defense, the Suns. Here's Wagner. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's on Mikhail Bridges. Man, good whistle there. And Franz Wagner, one of the surprises of the 2021 rookie class. He had a great rookie campaign, one of a handful of terrific rookies. And the first one at the line is good. And Wagner wasn't viewed as an exciting selection. He's been terrific, Grant. B.A., you know, he finds ways to contribute each game. You knew he'd be a solid shooter out of the gate. But he also has a great touch in and around the paint to be a threat inside. And both free throws good for Wagner. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Wagner against Bridges. Crowder outside. Five on the clock. 
Here's Aiden. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Aiden's got six points. Well, he might be as old school a center as you're going to find. Aiden thriving in close now. Harris outside. Bridges against Wagner. And once again, off the mark by Orlando. Over to the left wing. Left side, Paul. To the inside. Oh, stolen by Harris. Here's Anthony. And once again, off the mark by Orlando. Ball against Wagner. Outside for Booker. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Harris' the shot is Gary good. Harris. The Suns trailing. Outside Booker. Get a pair at the line. That's on Wendell Carter. First team. Have we gotten used to Devin Booker putting up huge numbers? So a 40 point game for him feels like another day at the office. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Magic. Yeah, they're just attacking on defense, getting those hands out and knocking the ball free. I really like their energy defensively. Well, they've also done a great job of taking turnovers and producing out of that, working really hard that they're not wasting extra chances that they're creating and it knocks down the first one well you talk about Booker's high-powered offense he's a rare member of the 70 point club with only five other players in NBA history Brent you got Wilt Kobe David Thompson Elgin Baylor and David Robinson man B.A. if you could sit down at a table to talk about your 70 point night I'd like to be a server at that team. Both free throws good from Booker. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Bamba finds Fultz. Wagner outside. Pass to Harris. Just five to shoot. Shoots over Booker. Harris misses. Phoenix has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Sharich, the pass to Payne. Back to Booker. From nine feet, and you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game? All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Phoenix. They've done a great job facilitating shooters. Their early game has seen a lot of hot passes and has kept the defense guessing as well. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense. That free throw good from Booker. And Booker just one of these guys who's calculating on the offensive end. He's trying to figure out what defenses are doing. He's always working hard to find shots, and he's going to influence the game with the way he can produce. Now here's Bamba. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. Oh, great D that time from Craig. And he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. The shot, no good. Orlando has gone two of two at the perimeter. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Wagner, the pass to Bamba. Johnson against Wagner. Back to Bamba. Oh, he buries the 20 footer. The Suns leading. Outside Booker. Pass to Johnson. Sharich against Bamba. Sharich, the pass to Booker. And Booker with the jam. Just such a gifted scorer. I mean, Devin Booker, a guy that drops 70 once in a game. You gotta be kidding me. 
Back to Fultz. Outside Ross. The three. He can't get it to go. Now the Suns take it the other way. Defeated by Milwaukee in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. <laughs> there obviously was a breakdown at the defensive end. They gave away too many clean looks. Yeah, sometimes you can play good on-ball defense, but it's the help defense that makes you elite. And on that night, nobody rotating and not a lot of help. Here's Ross coming off a of Suns make. Pass to Bamba. Back to Wagner. Holtz against Booker. And stolen by Booker. In transition. Here come the Suns. And he makes it on the layup. And it's a seven-point Suns lead. Payne got in front, and Payne never looked back. Outside Fultz. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Outside Johnson. Back to Booker. Outside Johnson. Inside. And Booker the bucket on the assist from Craig. Booker's got 16 points now. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Back to Fultz. Pass to Ross. Back to Fultz from behind the arc. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. I think the defense has more concerns out there on the floor. And they give him a good open look from the perimeter. Fultz against Payne. And we've got 118 left to play in the first. And he can't get that one. But already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Pass to Fultz. Bomba with it. Outside Ross. Now Fultz. Over Payne. Here's Bomba. The shot won't fall. Sharic with some nice D. Booker against Ross. Outside Booker. And there's a three-second violation. Magic ball. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. And the Suns making a change here. Shamit's checked in. And the Magic making a change here as well. Muscala, he's checked in for Bamba. Orlando has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. Pass to Wagner. 26 seconds left in the first. And Wagner hits from deep. Remember when big men shooting threes were as rare as a Sasquatch, and now those big guys are everywhere. Payne against Fultz. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. Campaign just a grinder and has stuck with it. His career arc is quite interesting. Spent time in the G League, and a few years back, he was out of the league. Now he's back, he's confident, he's dependable, and he's a huge part of a team playing winning basketball. First free throw is good. So he gets them both. Fultz against Payne. Fultz passes to Wagner. 
from deep. Oh, and he hits it at the buzzer. And just nails the three. Way to close the quarter. Well, you love nailing the last second shot. Always a real good moment. It's all tied in Phoenix. And quarter number two will get underway just after this short break. All right, Suns fans, here come your Suns. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And take a look at the Suns' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, so far, they've got things rolling along nicely at the offensive end. They yeah, couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. You know, Grant, sometimes with certain flagrant fouls, you'll hear people say it was a dirty play, but not a dirty player. But when does it become both? Well, we all understand, B.A., dirty plays aren't good for the game. But sometimes a flagrant foul will happen. A lot of times, though, you have to factor in a pattern of behavior. I really believe players who have a history of being called for a lot of flagrant fouls plays a big role in how it's perceived. Bridges and Crowder holding down the forward spots. Chris Paul out there with Landry Shaman. And it's Aiton in at the five down low. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Now here's Bridges. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Back to Shamit. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Orlando Ball. Orlando has gone five of six from three-point land so far. Anthony with it. He's coming off a 25-point game against San Antonio. Here's Carter. Falls back and drains a fadeaway J. Carter's got five points. A skilled big man with a developing jumper. Carter Jr. continues to show what he's capable of. So much potential with that young man. Back to Paul. Shoots over Fultz. That's good from Paul. On the assist by Bridges. Magic shooting around 50% in the game so far. After the outside. Outside Fultz. Shoots over Paul. Fultz can't get it to go. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard for every miss. Crowder, the pass to Aiden. From down in the low post, it goes. Give him eight. Well, you bump me and I'm gonna bump you back as Aiden, not afraid to get physical with the defender. Fultz finds Carter. Back to Fultz. Five to shoot. Shakes off strong D and gets to the bucket for two points. Not the most effective pick, but he salvages the play with a terrific move. Pass to Shaman. Back to Paul. to the outside. Blocked! Now here's Aiden. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Milwaukee. Pass to Shaman. Back to Aiden. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. The defense so concerned with Shamit and his shot-making ability who makes the play that time. DeAndre Ayton was so valuable in that 2021 playoff run for the Suns. Shot over 65% the entire postseason on their way to that NBA Finals appearance. Orlando calls timeout. And the former 1-1, the first overall draft pick. Aiden, he's just a different matchup. That size VA and that great touch around the rim. He runs the floor. He's a big presence down there. You just don't see a ton of centers like him around this league like you once did in the 80s and early 90s. Aiden's game presents a pretty hefty matchup issue.
ladies and gentlemen. Devin Booker, he's checked in for Shamit. Bamba's checked in for Orlando. Isaac comes in for Fultz. Here's Anthony, an aggressive player on offense, scoring around 16 a game. Pass to Isaac. And here's Carter, who's covered by Aiden. Now here's Anthony for three. Sinks it from Ball distance. Anthony. And the Magic goal. lead by one. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on him. Crowder, the pass to Booker. Back to Crowder. Bridges outside. Just five on the clock. Aiden in the high post. Paul for three. They get it back. Crowder. And Crowder with the jam. And this is what's expected from Jay Crowder. Just the hard work ethic to get in there and play physical. Pass to Harris. Back to Isaac. To the left wing. Mama. Pass to Harris. Hauled in by Paul. For Phoenix, they've gone four for seven in the second quarter. Crowder outside. Now Aiden. He's checked by Carter. Aiden, no good. Orlando's got six of seven threes to fall. They're looking solid out there. Pass to Anthony. Back to Isaac. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Well, plenty of give and take so far. The six lead changes already. Both teams came to play. Now here's Bridges. Paul with it. Fires for three. And they'll get another chance. Here's Booker. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Anthony against Paul. Anthony, the pass to Bamba. No good. Excellent D there from Booker. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Outside Paul. Over Anthony. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Well, what do you say about CP3 other than this guy is an all-timer? When you think about guys down the stretch who you have run to your offense, CP3 has to be mentioned up there. And he makes a first. As for CP, seems irreplaceable with each team he's been on. Well, he does so much for a team in terms of just keeping accountability from the coach's voice to his. Not only does he perform at the highest level on the floor, but there's a lot of things that CP3 brings off the floor that really help teach guys what being a pro is all about. Orlando trailing here. Pass to Harris. Back to Anthony. This is one where the second foul is probably going to cost you some minutes in this game. The Suns making a switch here. Payne's checked in. Coming onto the floor for your Suns, Cameron Payne. The Suns have gone four of ten from the field in the second, and the Suns call time here. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do.
defense the Magic. They trail by one. Crowder finds Aiden. And when Aiden isn't playing basketball, either the live video game version, he's often drawing. Yeah, I mean, he grew up wanting to be an architect. I actually hear that he loves blueprints. So probably his most famous sketch himself, dunking on Joel Embiid his rookie year. That's good from Aiden. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. So he hits one of two from the stripe. And Aiden has done such a good job of staying focused and really staying in his lane to make the contributions that he does. Here's Anthony. And so far in this one, two for four. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And a coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Crowder. And right now he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. On the wing, Isaac. Payne against Harris. Here's the three. He's off on that one. And Phoenix will come the other way. It'll be the start of a three-game trip on the road. Booker against Harris. Let's it fly from 18. Booker can't get it to go. That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Phoenix has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Payne against Harris. Here's Booker. And score it. That now makes him 7 for 11 in this game. Just not thinking about it twice. Devin Booker with the ball. He's going to let it rip. Orlando calls timeout. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. in for DeAndre Ayton. Craig comes in for Crowder and it's Johnson in for Bridges. Now here's Wagner. He had a 12 point outing in their last game against San Antonio. Isaac right side. Down to five on the shot clock. Wagner outside. Pass to Ross. And that misses. That would have put him up. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That's on Mo Wagner. Well, the key for Sharich is to be out there and be aggressive because when he plays assertive like this, he's going to draw some fouls. Throw good, Sharich. He's perfect from the line this time. 
Orlando has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Wagner outside. Pass to Wagner. Let's go with a three. Knocks down the long J. Wagner's got six. Zero defense. You can't let a good shooter have the wide open three. Johnson with it. Defended by Wagner. And here's Payne. Outside Craig. For three. Booker. It falls again. He's now 8 for 12 from the floor. And this is the type of play where Devin Booker is going to gain a lot of confidence and might start getting aggressive. Back to Anthony. Pass to Wagner. He shoots. And Ross with the basket. On the assist by Wagner. Wagner's got six assists now in the game. Outside Booker. Charge with it. Left side Johnson. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. Here's Anthony. Six points for him. Outside Ross. Isaac outside. Wagner inside, covered by Johnson. The open shot, Isaac. And Orlando again with the bucket. Nice delivery there. You can't hesitate when a man comes free on the perimeter. He got it, went right into the shot. Pass to Johnson. Back to Payne. Now Sharich. The jump hook goes back up. And he lays it up and in. And the Suns lead by four. Well, Dario does a nice job recovering Two and uses his size to minutes. beat out the smaller defender. Pass to Ross. Payne against Anthony. To the paint. Stolen by Payne. Booker, the pass to Payne. And he drives in. Here's Craig. Isaac covering. Craig inside. He's against Isaac. From the high post. Oh, his shooting remains on point. Three for four thus far. Now Payne will play patient in the pick and roll. That's a lot of alliteration, but we'll go with it. He's smart. Ross passes to Wagner. Now here's Isaac, defended by Craig. And it's Orlando with another. They've now had assist on each of their last three buckets. Outside Payne. Pass to Johnson. The three. No good there. Now Orlando takes it the other way. 51 seconds left in the first half of this one. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. At the line for the manager. Jonathan Isaac. Two shots. First one falls for him. Shamit, he's checked in for the Suns. Muscala, he's checked in for Orlando. Fultz comes in for Anthony. Both free throws good from Isaac. And so here's Phoenix. Outside Payne. Here's Shamit. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. He's got a piece of it. And he's able to get it back. The shot by Payne, no good. Orlando's gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. Kicks it out to Isaac. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Connects from downtown. Well, he made some kind of adjustment to his game after a poor first half. He's been impressive shooting the ball during the second. Outside Booker. 
Shoots over Ross. Booker, good. Booker's got seven now in this quarter. Booker focused on scoring right there. Even under duress, Booker finding a way to sink a very tough shot. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Suns ahead, up one. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here with Monty Williams and coach. Certainly some areas to correct moving forward. What have you seen so far? We've got a few breakdowns on defense. We've got to recognize personnel. We've given up a few open shots to the guys we talked about. We'll be better as we go forward. We've got to get out and run, but our defense will help us run more. It all starts on D. Thanks, Coach. Okay, Allie, appreciate it. And, folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. Fans, please give a big round of applause. And we've got second-half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Boy, we're seeing a tremendous game from Devin Booker. He's been on the attack, playing hard and going right to the rim. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. On the court for the Magic, Isaac in at the four with Carter Jr. playing the five. Harris at the two with Wagner playing the three. And it's Anthony in at the point guard position. Now here's Paul. And he's going for the lob! Isaac against Crowder. Anthony outside. The Magic need to put one up here. Wagner, he's open. Gets some space and buries the jumper. Wagner's got nine. Here in the second half, this game still nip and tuck. <laughs> Just an insane amount of lead changes. The fans are getting their money's worth. Now here's Bridges. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's a three from Paul. Fires in the triple. And the Suns lead by two. Jay Crowder moving it to the open man. to the outside. Pass to Wagner. Shoots over Bridges. And it's Wagner missing. Well, the Suns shooting 54% from the field so far in this one. Here's Paul. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Paul finding a way that time to draw the foul. At the line for your Suns, Chris Paul. Taking two shots. Two shots. That's in the first. First free throw is good. Still providing incredible production and great leadership. Chris Paul sets the standard for his team. Paul hits them both. Just over a minute and a half played in the third. Wagner outside. Isaac, the pass to Harris. Over Booker. Here's Carter. And he battles for the ball, gets the second chance bucket. Carter's got seven. I mean, the second effort from Carter Jr., Real nice motor on this guy. And there's Aiden on the assist by Paul. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And Orlando has possession. Coming off a of Suns make. Wagner for three. He buries it from three. He's got 12. Pretty good instincts right there from Harris. He sees the defense moving, and then he just spotted the open guy. Ball passes to Bridges. Outside Booker. Back to Bridges. Bridges. 
It's deflected. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. We got to see that one again. That block was all out effort. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Bombas checked in for Orlando. Right around three minutes into this second half. Crowder with a steal. In transition. Here come the Suns. Outside Paul. Pass to Aiden. Back to Paul. Clock at six. And the layup falls. Chris Paul knows exactly not just who's going to hit him, but how they're going to hit him. Wagner outside. Back to Anthony. Harris outside. From 11 feet away. And Aiden pulls it down. Maybe there are ways to contribute that don't involve shooting the basketball. That's the best way that maybe he can help them out trying to win this game. Booker finds Aiden. Over Harris. Aiden, no good. For Orlando, they've gone three of seven here in this third quarter. Let's it fly. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist the that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Suns. They feel like they have an advantage inside, and so far they have done an excellent job exploiting it. We probably have to touch on as well that tonight their penetration has been awesome. I mean, they put force on this game, attacking off the bounce, and a willingness to do that has paid off. And it's tied up with that one. Now Paul, 11 I'm points in the game. Out. Phoenix calls timeout. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. to Crowder. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. Crowder's got his second bucket of the game. Getting bumped after the shot. No problem for Jay Crowder. Anthony, the pass to Wagner. Wagner up top. Here's Harris. Five on the clock. Sends it home Gary from three-point land. Three point Harris has got his third bucket of the night. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Out to Craig. Here's Crowder. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Crowder's got six points. Old school, mid-range, Jay Crowder, that's two. Bogner outside. Back to Anthony. Craig against Wagner. Wagner on the wing. Wagner finds Anthony. 
And again, it's Orlando with a three. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Paul passes to Bridges. Now Craig, defended by Wagner. Here's Bridges. Another one falls for Phoenix. Orlando has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. And think about this. In an era of load management, Mikael Bridges is a rarity. He has never missed a game in college or the NBA. Back to Harris. And a nice finish Gary on the layup. Harris. He's got nine. You don't want Gary Harris in that close to the rim, even when you defend him, capable of scoring in there. Craig passes to Aiden. Bridges against Harris. Bridges misses. And if you talk to Bridges, Grant, he really credits his mom for his determination on and off the court. You know, B.A., it's a terrific story. Now, she actually made the NBA before Mikhail did. She joined the 76ers organization in 2015, three years before Mikhail was drafted. Three-pointer Anthony. The rebound by Bridges. For Phoenix, they've gotten six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. And it's Harris with the rebound. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Anthony outside. Pass to Bamba. Shot clock at five. Can't hit that one. The Sun's trailing. Craig up top. Covered by Bamba. Craig passes to Crowder. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Call against Anthony. Oh, they get a hand on it. And stolen by Paul. Pass to Crowder. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got three assists in the game. Orlando calls timeout. section in the arena gets free t-shirts. for a different look here. Sharich checks in for DeAndre Ayton. Johnson comes in for Craig. Shamit, he's checked in for Bridges. And Payne is subbed in for Paul. Back to Fultz. Pass to Harris. Now here's Ross. Fires from deep. Rebounded by Payne. Here's Shamit. It counts! the foul. It goes on Terrence Ross. Man, what focus. I mean, the hoop and the harm. <laughs> Incredible. Second team foul. At the line for your sons, Landry Shamit. Shooting one. Andre Shamit, one of those guys continuing to hone his skills, trying to become more of an impactful player in the two-way format, both on defense and with that shooting ability. 
Now here's Fultz. Ten points for him. To the wing on the left. And here's Muscala for three. The Suns clear it. Sharic has got a rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Shaman. Back to Johnson. Beyond the arc. It's rebounded by Wagner. Wagner's got four rebounds in the game. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Looks like he's shooting with a lot more confidence here in the second half. For Phoenix, they've gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. Payne, the pass to Saric. Right through the D for the layup. Saric has got six points. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Harris outside. Back to Fultz. Outside Ross. Pulls it. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Phoenix has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. And here's Johnson. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. To the middle. Left side, Payne. Here's Crowder. Back to Shamit. Launches it. It's Shamit on the wing. Goes up again. And that's two points on the layup. Shamit's got his second basket of the night. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Pass to Harris. And here's Muscala. Outside Fultz. It's hauled in by Sharic. Sharic has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Shamit, hounded by Fultz. Outside Johnson. Another shot. And there's Payne. That one's good. And the assist by Johnson. No hesitation from Payne that time. Playing assertive here. Pass to Harris. Here's Ross. Phoenix grabs the miss. Crowder's got six rebounds in the game. Now here's Payne to the inside. Crowder, that's good. And now a seven-point Suns lead. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Outside Ross. Pass to Fultz. The teardrop jacks up a three. Pure from three-point range. Three point Ross has got five points now in the quarter. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. They're pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Now here's Payne. He's got ten. Pass to Sharic. Let's the three fly. Gets the three ball to go. Sharich has got his third basket of the night. Now Sharich is a big man. Tough to get out there and close out to the shooter. It's a nice look at three ball. And so it's Phoenix closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. Back to the game after this break. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Orlando trailing here. Bridges and Johnson fill up the forward spots. 
Payne and Booker in the backcourt. And it's Aiden in at the center, locking down the middle. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. Fultz is good. Mark and Fultz. that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both. But when it gets close, he's getting the ball. Knocked loose. Shot clock at six. Unloads. Bridges misses. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. Fultz is good. Markel Fultz, Fultz has got five points now this quarter. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Payne, pass to Johnson. Inside, here's Booker. And he gets it to go again. He's connected on 10 of 15 now. Doing most of his damage on the perimeter. That time, Devin Booker showing he could score close to the rim. The Magic shooting has been good. Around 52% from the field. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. Fires the three. Gets the three to fall. And now it's a seven-point Phoenix lead. And when it comes to the three, they've been really dialed in here in the second half. Isaac outside. Back to Anthony. Let's it go from deep. That shot off. And Phoenix will come the other way. Pass to Payne. Shoots over Fultz. And there's Payne. That one's good. And the assist from Booker. And good focus from campaign on that one. Anthony with it. Bomba with it. Left side Carter. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First team foul. Shooting for Orlando. Wendell Carter Jr. At the line for two. First one falls. Chris Paul, he's checked in for Payne. Franz Wagner checked in for Orlando. And so Carter nails them both. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Outside Booker. Now here's Paul. Out to the wing. Aiden passes to Booker. Six to shoot. Over Fultz. Booker no good. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. The 11-footer. Kept alive by Orlando. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Second team foul. Shooting for Orlando. Jonathan Isaac taking two shots. And he drops the first. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. Both free throws good from Isaac. The Suns have gone three of five since this fourth quarter time started. Out, time out. Time out called time out. the Suns. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You've got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out.
ladies and gentlemen, your Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Monty Williams was going over with his team. He likes what he's seeing, but he cautioned his players, we are not far enough ahead to assume anything. Momentum can shift in a heartbeat. We have to be diligent, and we have to be smart. Allie, thank you. Here's Bridges. Banked it in off the glass. And the Suns lead by seven. That's pretty steady from Bridges. Does not let the contact throw him off one bit. Back to Anthony. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Just five on the clock. Up top, Carter. Wide open look. And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Carter's got four points this quarter. The Suns have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Back to Booker. The three is up. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got his fourth assist with that last one. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. And the ball jump is ball, tied jump, up, jump, jump, so we'll have a jump ball. That's a jump ball. And Phoenix has possession. Phoenix has gone two of two from outside so far on the fourth. Bridges outside. Back to Paul. Aiden against Carter. Shoots from 12. Oh, nice D from Carter. Orlando's gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Paul against Anthony. Isaac outside. Back to Wagner. From the arc. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Here's Bridges. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Bridges showing more and more signs of the strength being able to finish through contact. First team foul. At the line for your sons, Mikhail Bridges. One shot. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. The Magic have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Wagner outside. Hayden against Fultz. Isaac outside. Here's Fultz. And the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And the Suns making a change here. Crowder's checked in. Shooting one. Suns have gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Bridges outside. Back to Paul. Out left to the wing. Bridges outside. And that one good. Bridges has got nine points here in the second half. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Wagner outside. Pass to Isaac. Outside Fultz. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Booker. Drills the elbow Marco jumper. Fultz. Fultz has got 20. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Bridges against Wagner. And stolen by Anthony. 
Right side force. Driving in. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. The officials were right on top of that one. Markel Fultz. Two shots. First one falls for him. Good on the second, so he makes them both. For Phoenix, they've gotten seven of their first ten shots to go during this fourth quarter. Wagner against Bridges. Fires it. Paul, shot is off. The Magic have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Isaac finds Wagner, and here's Anthony. to Isaac. Five to shoot. Fades. And the Magic again can't hit. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. Wendell Carter Jr. Third personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Phoenix. DeAndre Eaton. Two shots. That's good from Aiden. Harris has checked in four Fultz. Aiden hits them both. Here's Anthony. Wagner outside. Back to Anthony. Harris outside. Pass to Isaac. 4-3. The Suns clear it. Aiden's got nine rebounds now. Booker against Harris. Booker, the pass to Bridges. Up top, Paul. Booker finds Bridges. Just five to shoot. Paul, the open look. Nice form on the 20-footer. Paul's got nine points now in the second half. Well, he passes to the wide open man, Bridges, developing some team chemistry. Wagner against Bridges. Now Wagner, back to Harris. The three is up. It's good. He's six for 12 from the floor. Are we sure that's the same player, guys? He looks completely different. What confidence he's playing with, and look how engaged he is on both ends. Pass to Crowder. Knocks it loose. Isaac with the steal. Here's Wagner. Isaac outside. Three-pointer, Anthony. Got a piece of it. They are just owning the boards right now. Crowder, the pass to Paul. Bridges outside. And here's Paul. And here's Crowder from the arc. And the Suns get another three. Crowder not hesitating on the offensive end. Harris on the wing. Wagner against Bridges. Anthony outside. Wagner with it. Shoots over Bridges. And it's Wagner missing. Phoenix has gone three for three from downtown in this fourth quarter.
Wagner against Bridges. Pass to Aiden. Up top, Paul. Booker fires from way outside. It's not going to go for him. And Orlando will come the other way. Anthony, left side. And the ball's out of bounds. It was last touch by Anthony. Football. Grant wouldn't be a bad idea here to slow it down. Yeah, the coach is definitely looking for patience and execution. Here's Booker on the money from 12 feet away. And it's a 12-point Phoenix lead. You have to be alert if you're guarding Devin Booker. He's terrific at cutting apart the defense with the dribble move. After the outside. Six to shoot. Pass to Wagner. Out to Harris. It's down. His seventh make in 13 attempts today. Now, Gary Harris would not be denied that time, focused on getting the finish. Outside Booker. Now Bridges. Outside Paul. Now here's Bridges. Over Wagner. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. And there is no way this margin gets closed down. Great execution of a game plan and a nice win here for the Suns. All their efforts on the boards ended up paying off. And just two tough rebounding teams. But they gave the extra effort and were rewarded for it. And this will give them win number 32 on the year so far. Only a two-game series and they win both. They have to be satisfied with this. And we've come to expect these kinds of strong games for Devin Booker. And this was a showcase night of his skills offensively. Shooting for Orlando, Cole Anthony at the line for two. First free throw is good, and it's a completely new group for the Suns. So Orlando going with an almost entire new group here. Bowl, he's checked in for Carter. Schofield comes in for Isaac. Okiki's checked in for Wagner. And it's Ross in for Harris. And so he hits both. 35 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Pass to Okogi. Here's Shamit. He's guarded by Anthony. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. And it's the Magic with the ball. It's a 10-point game. Here's Okiki. And once again, off the mark by Orlando. Here's Shamit. So no problem for Phoenix as they get the win. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor. And they didn't allow their mistakes Thank to get the better of them. And, and that's going to do it tonight, sure folks, for our broadcast. We will see you for Brent soon. Berry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. And we'll see you next time.